Welcome learners. In our lesson today, we continue with the mathematics form four. The topic is integration. Under integration, we look at finding area under a curve using integration method. We also look at application of integration to velocity and distance. But before that, you should know of the integral sign. That is the integral sign. We have B A, where B and A are limits of integration, and B is the maximum limit and A is the minimum limit. So, finding area under a curve using integration method, you should know that integrating method gives the exact area, and the integral y is equal to the area under the curve, i.e., we have integral of y is equal to area under the curve. An example says, find area under the curve, y is equal to 2x squared, from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 3, by integration method and in this case you have been given 2x squared y is equal to 2x squared and the limits are x is equal to 1 2 x is equal to 3 in this case we use differentiation uh, integration I mean so the, we have an integral value uh, we have 3 we have 1 as our limits and we have 2x squared as our equation so we integrate this we say that when you are integrating you add the power to 1 we say 2x cubed and we said we divide by the new power which is 3 introduce the brackets we have our limits 3 which is maximum and 1 which is minimum so when we are calculating the area remember, remember that we have a constant of integration that is plus c when you are integrating, you have a constant of integration, which was 0 before. So you have 2. You substitute the maximum value 3 into where x is. So we have x 3 into bracket, 2 into brackets x power divided by 3. And we have the constant for integration, which is plus c. Minus, you subtract from the minimum value, that is 2 into brackets substitute 1 divided by 3 plus c it is not necessary in your calculation to include c because c uh, the constant for integration cancels out once we subtract so we have 3 cubed which is 27 divided by 3 that is 9 times 2 18 plus c minus we have 2 1 into bracket 1 into brackets power 3 that is just 1 multiplied by 2 it's 2 so we have 2 over 3 plus c so in this case c and c subtract we have null we have 18 minus 2 over 3 which is 18 minus 2 over 3 which is equal to 17 whole number 1 over 3 square units because it is area So the next concept we shall look at is application of integration to velocity and distance and we said that S V A in differentiation we said S represents distance V velocity and A acceleration and in differentiation we were going downwards differentiation that is when we were differentiating we were differentiating uh, d, ds over dt that is v velocity with respect to time we were getting acceleration for integration it is the opposite you go upwards that is given acceleration to move to velocity we, we move with respect to time an example says a particle moves in a straight line it passes through point o at t is equal to zero with a velocity v is equal to 5 meters per second and the acceleration a meters per second square of the particle at time t seconds after passing through o is given by a is equal to 60 plus 4 and you have been told express the velocity v of the particle at time t seconds in terms of t so in this case we have our velocity which is equal to 5 meters per second we have been given time at point O, which is t is equal to 0 seconds. 
and we have been given acceleration which is equal to 60 plus 4 so what we do from here is we are different we are integrating acceleration with respect to time to find velocity that is what we are doing is we are saying dv over dt otherwise a that is a is dv over dt when we are integrating we say that when we are differentiating I mean is equal to 60 plus 4 so we want to find velocity how do we find velocity we integrate velocity is equal to so if you integrate this the power of t here is 1 add 1 that will be 2 which will be 60 squared divided by 2 plus and we have a t power 0 but it is not shown because it has a power of 0 so we, we put a 1 there so it becomes 40 and we have our constant of integration which we have not been given that is c so if you want to calculate if you want to calculate velocity the equation for velocity first of all we have to find c and to find c we we substitute the values of v and t into the equation that is v is 5 meters per second which is 5 is equal to and in this case if we simplify this you can get it is v is equal to if you simplify it becomes 3 t squared plus 40 plus c that is a simplified equation okay you substitute the value 5 and then we have 3 into brackets we have t which is 0 0 squared plus 4 into brackets 0 plus c so you realize that the value of c is 5 because 3 multiplied by 0 is 0 4 multiplied by 0 is 0 so we remain with c is equal to 5 so in, in this our equation becomes v is equal to 3t squared plus 40 plus 5 that is the velocity next we shall look at distance we are looking at distance and we are saying when we want to find distance we integrate velocity and we said that in integration we were going downwards that is we were differentiating s with respect to t this time we integrate v with respect to time so that we get distance so how do we get that an example an example says the velocity of a particle moving in a straight line is given by the equation ds over dt is equal to negative 4 plus 2 so where s is a displacement from the origin in meters and t is the time of motion so you have been told given that s is equal to t when t is equal to 0 find s in terms of t so you analyze the question you you have been given ds over dt and you know that from integrate from differentiation ds over dt represents velocity which is negative 4 plus 2 negative 40 plus 2 needless to say this is velocity so we have s we have been told to find a uh, distance so how do we find distance with respect to time we say we go back how do we go back we say distance is equal to which is s is equal to we have t right we integrate so we say t has a power of 1 so add 1 that is t squared so negative 4 t squared divided by the new power which is 2 plus we have 2 right and we have uh, a constant and uh, we have a t power 0 there so we add 1 it becomes 2t and we have the constant for integration which is c so from there we have been given the values so that s is equal to 2 and t is equal to 0 so s is equal to 2 and t is equal to 0 so first of all we need to find the constant of integration so we simplify the equation s is equal to negative 2 t squared plus 2 t plus c what we do to find the constant is we substitute the values of s and t into the equation so we say 2 in this case if you substitute s with 2 2 is equal to negative 2 into brackets we have a 0 squared plus 2 into brackets t is 0 0 squared plus c so negative 2 times 0 squared that is just 0 plus 2 times 0 squared which is 0 so we have c is equal to 2 right so we, we, we can get our equation s is equal to negative 2 t squared plus 2 t plus 2 that is our equation